yesterday, and today, I wanted to talk to you about something that most people don't like to hear, which is hustle like a fucking special ops soldier. See, I think one of the things why I am able to just go so much further in whatever it is I'm doing, my workouts, training, my business, is because I just fucking kill myself. Like, I fully surrender to this idea that unless I just lose myself to what it is that I'm doing, I'm never going to get those deep, <clears throat> fulfilling, long-term lasting results. I think, especially in today's world where you have fad diets, you have fat burners, you have all these quick fixes, you have all these gadgets and tools and techniques and platforms that say, do this, click on this button, say this one thing, and you will get massive results. We're so used to looking for the quick fix. We're so used to looking for the shortcut or the thing that will cause a massive chain of events to occur. So I think our strength or by going back to the fundamentals, which is essentially work put in equals results getting out. By going back to that simple formula, by essentially bringing it back to what really matters at the end of the day, which is hustle, you will excel where other people are slacking, where other people are trying to make or do the minimum that they can do to see results, you will excel because you will be going that extra mile and that extra mile will carry you so much further and in ways that you probably never would have seen coming. For me, for example, when I work out, I go as extreme as not drinking water until the end of my workouts. Now, yeah, you might say, what the fuck, bro? Like, I don't know about this one. That's kind of stupid. You might die. But the way I see it is this, right? When I go work out, I'm in there for like an hour, right? So essentially, I feel like I am caging myself in with the beast that is iron, right? So in that time, I want to essentially put so much pressure on my body that I can say when I go to sleep that day, that damn, I got stronger. Like, I want to be able to say that without a doubt, without even flinching. Like, knowing with every single iota of my being that I went to the next level, right? So, on top of using supersets and making sure that, like, my rest time is low and all this shit, I also like to also challenge my ability to control my life force, my ability to control my energy, my ability to control my willpower, my ability to control my mind. So a way for me of doing that is essentially setting myself on a course and making sure that it gets done and nothing can stand in the way until that is accomplished. Not even my fatigue, not even my lack of uh, motivation or energy. I literally tell myself that I want to get this done, and I don't give a fuck about whether or not my body is tired or not, because it's going to get done. And so by having that approach, by having that mindset, it's like imprinting on my mind that it's going to get done. Like, there is no way around it. Like, absolutely no way am I going to leave this place today without having had a really amazing workout. Now, consequently, because of this mindset and this approach, I'm able to see results and gains and, like, jumps in strength and, like, having to like add more weight, etc. so fucking fast because my body is put to a level of pressure where for it to even survive, it has to grow. 
right? And I feel like that kind of pressure, and obviously I am probably nowhere on the level with someone that's, like, in the army or in, like, special ops, because the shit that they do is just way, way more insane, like, way more intense. But I feel like I try, I strive to get to that mindset. I strive to that, get to that point where this is it, like, you have to do this or else you will die. And I feel like psychologically it makes me tougher. It makes me way stronger because I'm able to just handle and deal with so much more bullshit than most people I know before I even crack. Like, it takes a lot to get to me, right? And all of this is built upon, right? Like, I didn't just wake up one day and I was like, I'm going to train like this, man, 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 I'm going to be a real fucking chance, nah, nah. No, like, it just slowly and slowly built upon itself, right? But my point is, I had to constantly push myself to evolve. I have to, I have to constantly force myself to grow. It's like they say, what doesn't grow slowly stagnates. Like a mentor says, it's like, the path of success is like a muddy hill. Like, you're climbing on top of this muddy hill. And, like, if you just stay in that one step for one second, you slowly just start sinking. So you essentially just have to keep moving forward. You essentially have to keep fucking going. And I feel like in today's world, where everything is essentially made or pushing you into this place of chilling or not doing anything it's probably the hardest thing to maintain it's really hard to maintain that level of intensity that level of momentum where you want to get this done more than anything but the beauty in it is those who strive will always succeed it's like some people still don't understand and it's all about just throwing yourself in there and like losing yourself to the moment if you're still counting the amount of water thinking you're not hustling hard enough because your hypothalamus system is off kilter meaning that by the time that you feel that taste or that thirsty tongue or that need to drink water you're probably already pretty dehydrated if you're counting down the amount of time that you spend in the gym or at work you're probably not hustling hard enough because if you are losing yourself to the moment or to the activity that you are doing time will just become irrelevant if you're still thinking about how many people it's going to take to reach that certain person or how many girls you need to approach to find that special girl or how many events or networking events or how many projects or how many prospective leads and clients it's going to take to get through or sift through to find that one quality client you're not hustling hard enough because if you are losing yourself to the process every single person every single moment would be a joy because you would be learning something amazing about yourself about your process and about the way the world works in every single interaction Sling that water down like if it was air itself. That is the way you will get results in your health, in your wellness, and in achieving the body that you want to achieve. Time to criticize, talk trash, or belittle others. You're not hustling enough, bro. Rather, what you can do is try not to commit a negative action, like talking about people behind their back or doing anything that could be negative. 
Now that can be your new hustle. Plus, the sad thing is, the people that are taking the easy way out, that are taking the shortcut, are not realizing that they're essentially robbing themselves most of the most important thing, which is essentially the experience you receive from each hardship. When you go through some kind of adversity, right, it toughens you up, it makes you stronger, it makes you better, it makes you wiser, right? But when you're taking a shortcut to get there, you're essentially not learning all the lessons that you would have learned had you gone the natural way. The reason why is because when you're going through adversity, you're forced to use more energy. It's all about energy output, right? If you can, more, if you can output more of yourself, you will always win, right? If you can do more work, you will always win. It's just as simple as that. It's like a natural law. The more work you do, the better you become because you're out there more, you're grinding, you're like going through those little things that make you 1% better every single day. And that increase over a period of time can take you from here to like there, right? And that's the thing, like the people that are taking their shortcut are not expending or outputting their energy and so it's no surprise that they don't grow or they're not at the level that they should be because the energy that should have been used to get to that point has been robbed by the shortcut by the magic pill whatever it is it's all about using as much energy as possible so if you can get yourself to so expend and output more of yourself or to even actively control your mind power your will and your actions you will be so much better off for me for example I even go as extreme as not drinking water in during any of my workouts because sometimes it feels like it's taunting me it's like, look look you want water? It's right there. It's right there. Just take three steps and walk. Come on. You can do it. You know you want to drink me. All sweaty. Dehydrated. You just got done running. Low on calories. You know you want this water. But I'm like, oh my god, no! Fuck you! Fuck you. I will not lose the temptation but then I'm like if I was dropped or stuck in the desert would I be able to drink that water nope then I'll get to drink that water now <laughs> yeah torture <laughs> not even my dehydration not even my fatigue not even the fact that I'm super sore, can barely walk, or anything. I literally want to tell myself that this is going to get done no matter what. And by doing that, I'm essentially imprinting on my mind the fact that I am its charioteer. I am the one in control of it. It's not controlling me. No matter what output or input or feedback it's giving me I am the one that's telling it where to go most people focus on essentially keeping their energy in and bottling it up and not using it like no nope. gotta keep it gotta keep it all to myself keep it to mine instead of just being like output 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 essentially Infinite key blast. <laughs> Amazing way of using your energy. Think of your energy like a wheel, right? And it just spins and spins and spins and spins and spins all over the body. I actually recently talked about this in my Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat. Add it here. But essentially, it's supposed to move around. The more it moves around, the more flow 
and circulation is present in your body. This is why, funny enough, most successful people are also really fucking active. Because they're outputting and using so much of their energy in the world. And it just overwhelms every single place they're in. Essentially, you can feel their presence when they show up somewhere. Because so much of their energy is just like... So, as I say in my Snapchat, no, Grandpa and Grandma, they're fucking lying. You're not getting weaker. You're just being lazy about using what's in there. The more energy or the more life force, the longer you've been here on Earth, the more that you have just floating around in there waiting to be used. And if it's not being used, it's essentially getting depressed. Because it's like, what the fuck, man? I can do all this shit. You're not even letting me do it, man. I need me near, man. And it just starts slowly decaying. And that's where this eases come through. So, it's not magical that when you start walking or you start exercising, all these little side issues, like little ailments that would pop up. Or all these weird anxieties that you kept having to deal with just magically go away. Because when you're using your energy, when you're outputting more of yourself into the world, you're doing what you were put here on earth to do. And that is creating and producing and making the world fucking epic. For me, for example, one way of essentially tricking myself to use more of my energy is working out with a hoodie on. With a hoodie on. And why do I do that? Essentially, the way I've come to understand it, think of it, of your whole body has like a balloon, right? Now, let's go even deeper. Imagine it's a sponge, right? A porous membrane right so it has all these small little holes in it right now what happens is that the more oh the more holes open the easier it is to breathe the easier it is to gather and like absorb air from inside I mean from the outside right but the less holes are open the harder you have to work to gather that air, to gather that energy, right? So now, essentially what I'm doing is, by putting on a hoodie, I am not only forcing myself to work harder at gathering energy, also that I'm forcing myself to control the little amount of energy that is present inside. Because when you're, when you have less oxygen than you usually have in your daily life, the way that you're going to go about operating life is going to be very controlled. It's going to be very purposeful. You're actually going to savor every single fucking breath because it matters so much to you. Now, what that means is you're also going to be able to push and dig even deeper in your so inside of yourself, inside of that infinite potential, because you're going to be having to work so much to exert and do the things that you want to do. Now, what this means is that you will feel like you have an overabundance of oxygen because you're so used to walking around or operating in an environment where you're essentially deprived of the full amount of oxygen that you can possibly breathe in. This has so many benefits because now you have increased stamina, you have increased energy, you have increased willpower, all these amazing things. On top of that also, your life force is more curated because now you're more careful and you have a better control over it. 
than most people instead of just wasting it and using it every single iota of energy you're using it in the most optimized way you can think of it like in go in Dragon Ball Z right like Goku when or Vegeta when they go into the hyper chambers right and what happens is they're essentially increasing the gravity present in the room so instead of like the regular gravity that, that like you normally walk around in they're trying to walk around in like five times heavier gravity or ten times or a hundred times right and what this does it pressure it puts insane amounts of pressure on their body to essentially withstand greater amount of stress than what they're used to right and they essentially force themselves to essentially move and like fight and throw punches at the same in that gravity in that environment than they use than they usually do right and so now what happens is when they go back outside their speed and everything increases tenfold because their body has gotten used to a way more stressful environment than what it nor than what is normally present right so that is an amazing and that is so that is how I think about putting on a hoodie when I work out it forces me to essentially control my breathing to control my life force to control my energy and like it forces me to essentially make use of every single amount of oxygen present and so now when I don't have a hoodie on I feel like there's so much energy present that I hardly ever get tired or I don't get to that same level of fatigue as maybe most people do right on top of that it's also an amazing way of sweating out more calories <laughs> So that's my message for today. Hustle like a fucking spec ops. Because later on, the reason why you hustled that hard will be so clear to you. And the benefits from hustling that hard will be so great that you will be crying and so humbled so humbled and so grateful for even having been given the opportunity to hustle so keep it steady swag out bros until next time